Hey guys, so as you know, we are talking about some of the high profitable cryptocurrencies for 2018. What are some top of what are your some top high profitable cryptocurrencies for 2018? And one of them on my list is EOS. And I thought I'll make a special video on this. And this is also the number one on my list, right? Now, EOS is straight away is being compared with Ethereum, right? Now, if you look at the price of Ethereum today, which is about $690, and the EOS price is just about $13 dollar which has grown like 17 percent in the last 24 hours and if you do a calculation calculation 690 dollar uh, divided by 13 dollar so this has a potential of growing at least 53 53 times more to reach ethereum that means 53 times of profit and one of the reasons this is also important is now they are eos is launching their main net their own blockchain right now they are erc20 tokens but they are launching their main net in a month of june so in this video today i'm also going to take you through a small tutorial of if you have any if you hold any EOS tokens on an exchange or on my ETH wallet how to ensure that you have registered your ethereum wallet with the eos public key so that whenever the eos main net is launched in the month of june you are eligible for the us coin us coin right now it's a token because it's on ethereum blockchain and then it will become your us coin so again this is not an investment or financial advice it's not a sponsored video this is just that i'm very bullish on eos because there is a lot of in comparison between us and ethereum in fact i'm going to show you an article that clearly talks about the eos versus ethereum some of the factors some of the uh, so in term in in terms of smart contracts in terms of economics of both the both the cryptocurrency in 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 terms of design philosophy there is a straight comparison of eos with ethereum we are going to go through that and of course their github looks very strong this is one of the things that i really look at now anyone could go ahead and say that listen we are better than your project or maybe this is an ethereum clear or maybe this is a bitcoin clear what i really want is that is this is there work in progress and where do you find that you find that all information on the github there are about 5,075 commits already 65 branches so github actually gives you all the story as to how much work is being done on the code right and of course they recently released their dawn 3.0 as well and they have been doing multiple partnership like there was one of the partnership recently was 200 million dollar and now eos dawn is available so in my opinion 2018 eos is on number one on my list again i can be wrong like i said this is not a financial or investment right but we are just trying to get like top 10 which can be winner for 2018 and of course i need your help i'll make the video in a couple of days but i'm getting the inputs from you guys also in the comment box so definitely if you have any coins that is on your mind and you think that can be highly profitable for 2018 let me know in the comment box below in the, now let's go ahead and find out what yours is all about so the best uh, description of or explanation of yours that i found is like i said it has always been compared with ethereum but only better right so there's this post on steamit.com again i would recommend that if you're not on steamit please go ahead register yourself it is a free registration and start learning about steamit because this is the first kind of facebook on the blockchain right first kind of reddit on the blockchain medium on the blockchain or whatever you want to call a D YouTube on the blockchain they have a D2 as well so you can find me as well there about crypto conversation shiv at the rate shiv123 is but I put the link in the description below right so this is my account and I found this post on steam it itself so it says EOS versus Ethereum for dummies and there are different topics that they have uh, they have compared with so for example uh, the first one is the in terms of smart contract writing the smart contracts writing the smart contracts on eos is far easier than writing it on ethereum right again i'm not saying that ethereum is going to die completely 
um, I'm still bullish on Ethereum. I'm saying that Ethereum is still going to stay there because there are many applications which will be built on Ethereum and Ethereum has also, uh, you know, got a new upgrade recently, which we talked about, spoke about recently. So of course, Ethereum is going to exist. But at the same time, EOS has a great opportunity for this year to grow in, in terms of price. And one of the reasons also because they have been the longest ICO, they raised about a billion dollar. They have a strongest and the biggest community. I don't know of any ICO which raised about one billion dollar. And also for the fact that Dan Lanima, the, the man behind this, has already built several products. So you don't have to uh, really take a guess. Oh, is he, is this guy gonna build anything, or is it a scammer? You know, he's already built bit shares. He's already built Steemit. He's already building yours, right? So this guy has already built products already, and. Uh, and that is why uh, I'm quite bullish on this. So in terms of design philosophy, there's a comparison of EOS with Ethereum. I'm not going to go through all of them because it will give a lengthy video. I want to make a very small video today. So, so this is basically in terms of provide all types of cryptography. It says we have no features as a uh, corollary to generalization. Now, this is again an opinion. Now, there are few points which may be true. There are few points which may not be true. But overall, your S is a faster product, faster blockchain Ethereum for so far because we have seen what happened with Ethereum during the crypto kitties, right? So this is the design philosophy. Then you talk about the consensus mechanism. Uh, this is delegated proof of stake. This is proof of now. This is proof of stake. Earlier it was proof of work, uh, and now then you have scalability. Of course, ten thousand transactions to one hundred thousand transactions per second, and of course this is like twenty-five transactions. Per second and then you have denial proof of of service attacks comparison and then you have economics of the networks burning fees and owning a stake and their conclusion so of course i'm a strong believer in graphene based technologies largely because of the impressive scalability and a minimal tree transaction fee i recognize this post has had an obvious eos bias of course he is mentioning that this post is actually biased on yours Maybe this video is also biased, but again, I'm saying that I'm bullish on Ethereum as well, guys, right? It's just that we are trying to find one of the uh, good profitable cryptocurrency for 2018 and that EOS comes first on my mind. And of course, there are others which I'm going to uh, take your opinion on, right? So this is the best article that I found on EOS. This exactly tells you what exactly EOS is and a comparison between EOS and Ethereum uh, and GitHub. And uh, let's come down to how do you register your uh, EOS tokens if you have on an exchange with EOS public key. Now, there's another way of doing it on Exodus, but this video is only for my Ether wallet. So how do you do that? It's pretty simple, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be very quick. I have a separate video by the way on this. You can go ahead and watch, but this one I'm gonna be very quick. So let's say that you go onto the EOS website and you go to, uh, Go to the website and click on get EOS, right? Just check all the boxes here. Basically, this is for you, for anyone to participate in the ICO and even for registering, right? Once you're here, right? Now, go to, once you're here, okay, you, yes, exactly. Now, you have four options, buy, register, claim, transfer, click on register. This is the second video, by the way, guys, right? So I'm selecting my Ether wallet because that's what I find easy to use. Select my Ether wallet, click, click on generate your key. Once you have selected, you will see a public key and a private key, right? It's pretty simple, public key and private key. Now, note this down on a notepad and go to your my Ether wallet. Now, assuming that you already have a my Ether wallet, so I already have now, let's say that uh, I want to access my Ether wallet go to contracts so this is my ether wallet I select click on contract i select the eos as contract right eos done now this would be auto filled as you can see this is auto filled click on access and then come down here below click on select functions and select the register option so now you are registering eos public key with the eos tokens that you have bought and is kept in my ether wallet so I click on register over here. The moment I click on register, it gives me, you'll see register here and you see key here. 
over here key I'll just copy and paste this public key okay that's it and then I'll go on right click on right okay it won't because it will ask you to log in so I did not log in so here's what happens once you've pasted it you cannot write before you log in so how would you access to how would you like to access your wallet so access your wallet I'm gonna access your wallet I, I have to log into my wallet so this is my UTC this is by the way dummy mytho wallet guide this is not the one that I use this is the dummy one so I'm logging into this right so I'm already into my ether wallet now this is the same key the public key here you can see and I just click on write and yes definitely you need some funds it's not gonna cost you anything registration is it's not gonna cost you any ether but it needs some gas to function see this is one of the limitation of ethereum as well which does not exist in the OS right so once you have some gas you have some ethereum in my ether wallet click on generate transaction uh, and then I'm sure you want to do that that's it you're done it says insufficient funds the reason it says because I don't have this is a dummy wallet right but that's it this is all that you need to do and you have registered it and whenever you want to check this this is the same procedure click on contracts right once you have done this when you make sure that if this is EOS public key registered or not definitely keep this pair safe with you keep the public key and private key both of them safe with you do not lose on the private key and so do not lose out on any of the private key I would say right and when you want to check whether this has been registered or not click on go on contracts and same thing once again access uh, instead of you selecting the register you will check you will select the keys options here right over here keys options and once you click on read what you will see that you will see the same public key will appear over here and that's how you know that it has been registered so i hope this was helpful i'm just going to keep this video short let me know if you have any questions or registration you can watch another video also which i have dedicated only on how to register your yours token on the yours yours token with the yours uh, public key that that's a separate video watch that and let me know what are your top five or top 10 cryptocurrencies that you think are going to be profitable in 2018 none of this is a financial investment advice just my opinion and like this video subscribe if you're new share is going to help other people as well and i'll see you next time thank you